Hi, I'm Jacinta and today we're back on my island, Cornucopia, and I'm going to be decorating a beautiful natural lake. I always love a beautiful lake build, but one of the reasons why I want to do this is because I've got this like weird large area behind my house and I didn't really know what else to put in it and then the idea of a lake came to me and I thought great that's gonna use up a lot of room <laughs> and that's exactly what I want because I'm getting to the end of my island as you can see I've got that large bit where we are now in the back right to fill in and then there's a couple of other gaps but yeah this is quite a large area so I thought a big build like a lake would be perfect I've put a few items down here a lot of wheat fields because I think having green wheat around the lake will really help to make it look nice and overgrown and grassy so yeah that's my items um where do we even begin i guess we want to get rid of these trees i will be putting trees back into the area because like i said i want this to be nice and natural and overgrown but right now these guys are in the way so let's just move them i think i want to have cliffs along the back and this does go back quite far i originally thought i would have this little walkway here leading down to the secret beach but i think i'm gonna have to move this because i don't know if we'll have enough room to do like taller cliffs and waterfalls let's jump into the island designer app and we can start doing some terraforming so to start with i'm going down to this ground level and i'm going to extend the cliff out a bit i don't know why it's such a weird shaped cliff i think that was natural i don't think i did that <laughs> but anyway we're gonna fix that and then up to the top level and i'm gonna remove some of the cliff here because i want the lake to be quite wide and this cliff came out quite a lot in the front so yeah i'm gonna shrink it down in the front but then make it wider and add some height to it as well with an extra level and then we're gonna move on to doing some waterfalls <laughs> I didn't realize this was my fourth level which means I can't get up there and I can't decorate up there oh no oh, okay I'm gonna remove that cliff I think there is some trick to like decorating your fourth cliff but this sounds too hard for me I can't be bothered so I'm just gonna get rid of it be right back okay cliff is all gone it was a lot easier to get rid of than it was to put in but now we need to try and make this nice without the extra level i'm quite sad about that i fully just didn't even realize i was up on my fourth level how disappointing but that's okay we'll try to make it work still Okay, that's gonna have to do for my waterfalls. Unfortunately, not what I was picturing, but that's okay, they still look pretty. And now onto the lake, which is obviously just gonna be a large block of water. Thank you. 
Okay, now that we've got the shape of the lake and the cliffs all done, I'm going to lay down a picnic blanket here because I thought a little picnic by the lake would be so cute. I might use this white picnic blanket and I'm going to put it down right here. And I've got a couple of items. I've got mum's homemade cake. I thought that would be cute. Uh, I don't know about that actually. <laughs> Maybe I'll customize it to a different color. Then we've got the picnic blanket. This one's not my favorite color, but it's the only one that was in my inventory. So I'm just going to go ahead and use it for now. I might actually make this blanket one space wider. Oh, no, actually. Let's instead just add a little bit of this. So it looks like we've got two blankets layered together. Okay, we'll just leave that for now, but it will probably get changed. Now to decorate the rest of the area around the lake. I ordered like... 15 wheats but I feel like it's not going to be enough although I don't want a wheat field in every single space that would be too much we just want it to look nice and peaceful and overgrown <laughs> This area up on the cliff is just going to be full of natural sort of items. I might put a couple of furniture items in, like I've got a birdhouse and some mush lamps. But yeah, we really just want this to look lovely and green and natural and overgrown. That's the look we're going for. Now I'm filling in some gaps of custom designs, even though I don't think anyone will come up here, no one's going to see them, but it just feels wrong to leave the spaces empty. So yeah, I'm adding a few of these all over the ground. I'm adding a mush lamp and I want to add a birdhouse somewhere as well. Maybe it'll look good down this side. Okay, this is looking pretty good. We've got a lot of items. We've filled in quite a bit of space. It's kind of hard to envision because obviously all of the plants haven't grown, but I think it's looking good so far. And I mean, I think we're actually almost done. I filled in a lot of space. Oh wait, we've got this little bit over here. Let's chuck a couple more flowers in. Yes, we love flowers. Okay, yeah, this is looking good. I might jump ahead a couple of days so we have the flowers growing in and then we can see what else it needs. I also ordered another picnic basket because, yeah, I don't like this white one. I don't know why. I just, I'm not a fan. So yeah, let's jump ahead a few days and see how it's looking. Okay, I've jumped ahead one day. I know nothing's going to be growing in yet, but I grabbed my items that I want to swap these out for. So I wanted to use this other picnic basket i like the color of it a lot more than that white one much better i also grabbed this little portable radio i thought that could be kind of cute i haven't used it before but yeah that's cute you'd want that on a picnic and then i don't know are we sticking off this cake i'm not sure how i feel about it might try customizing it to a different flavor maybe the strawberry and flowers because there's some red in the picnic basket as well 
Yes, I think it looks so much better. Now, I want to do a bit of a path coming through here, but I don't really know which way to lead it because I don't know what's going to be to the left of this build, but I might just start doing a path at the back of these trees here. So let me jump back into the Island Designer app. Ooh, I just had a thought. What if I put a bridge here and then the lake can keep flowing over and turn into a river? That could be pretty cute. I think for today's build, I'll just finish off the path here. But yeah, maybe next time I will add a bridge and continue the river on past it. Okay, now that I've put in those extra items I want to use and put this path down, I'm going to jump ahead a couple more days so all of the plants grow in and then we can have another look. Okay, I've jumped ahead a few days. We've got everything growing in. It's looking good and I think we're done with the area. So here it is, our beautiful lake and picnic spot. I think this turned out so nice. I love having beautiful natural builds like this. Even though my island is more of a farm core one, I feel like this still works. We've got the same colors and items that tie this area in together with the rest of my island. And I think it matches the rest of my island perfectly. I also really love the cliffs above the back of the lake. I do wish we could have done an extra level to make them a bit higher, but that's okay. I didn't realize we were already up on the third level and I still love how this turned out. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed this build. I love it. I love the natural vibes and I've wanted a lake for a long time because they always look so good. You can't have an ugly lake. <laughs> They're just too pretty. I really hope this was able to inspire you to make something similar on your island and let's quickly check out my map before I finish this video. So you can see down the back right, I mean you can't really tell because it's not pathing or anything but we did fill that back corner in so we've now got the space to the left and a couple of other little pockets on my island and then we're almost done which is very exciting. So again, I really hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Bye!